This video demonstrates a select group of exercises designed to safeguard against swimmer's shoulder. These exercises are based on the current body of medical literature, the biomechanical and performance demands of swimming, as well as my clinical experience working with injured triathletes as well as racing triathlon. The modified push-up is a great exercise to target the pectorals which help to propel you through the water as well as the serratus anterior which serves to stabilize the scapula against the costal cage. This is also a great exercise to challenge trunk stability. The rowing exercise is important for strengthening the scapular stabilizers, namely the middle trapezius, lower trapezius, and rhomboids. Establishing lower trapezius strength is of particular importance since injured swimmers often exhibit a delayed response of this muscle. Shoulder extensions are important for swimmers to improve strength of the latissimus dorsi and posterior rotator cuff musculature while emphasizing upright posture. Strengthening the lats is critical for swimmers as they work along with the pectorals to help propel you through the water. By positioning the performer in a tall kneeling position, one can further train trunk stability as well. Shoulder external rotation, or what's commonly referred to as shoulder Ws, are a classic rehab exercise to improve strength of the scapular stabilizers and rotator cuff musculature, namely the lower trapezius, infraspinatus, and teres minor. It should be mentioned that performing this exercise with excessive resistance should be avoided since a rotator cuff is optimally trained between 40 to 60 percent of a max effort. The dynamic hug is a great exercise for training the serratus anterior muscle. The serratus anterior is a fan-shaped muscle that wraps around the chest wall and helps to stabilize the scapula, thereby preventing winging. It is particularly important to train in swimmers as research has shown for it to be active throughout the swim cycle. Given the role of the shoulder internal rotators in swimming, it's important to ensure adequate strength and endurance of this muscle group. The subscapularis, which is part of the rotator cuff muscle group, is one internal rotator that deserves particular attention since it's the only other muscle aside from the serratus anterior that is active throughout the swim cycle. This last exercise is a variation and progression of the previous internal rotation exercise. This time, however, the performer is lying prone or on their stomach to more closely replicate the swim stroke, particularly during the catch and early pull through phase. This exercise will also further challenge the scapular stabilizers and internal rotators as the subject is no longer lying on their back. <laughs> 